Okay, this is how to take the grill off a Range Rover L322 2003. So you'll notice this is the one with the, the straight line. So this is the early model that's got a straight line between the grill and the headlight. Okay, so open your bonnet. Okay, now there are three screws at the top. One, two, three that we need to undo. So we use a 10 millimeter socket. Put the screws out of the way. And then the, the top comes away, the bottom's held in with some clips. You just tip it back and push the bottom in. So what you've got at the bottom here uh, are clips. We'll look at those in a minute. Let me take the air. This here is the air temperature sensor. And that's just pushed into the, that's just slotted in. So that you can just pull out and put down. And these are the clips that, that fit in the bottom. So you've got this this one here, spring. So, so when you tip it forward, you can just just pull that out. Okay, so that's the, the grill removed. Okay, with the old grill removed, we're now gonna fit the new facelift type grill to this early um, Range Rover. So the first thing to do is to, um, where we've taken the air temperature sensor out, we've gotta fit the air temperature sensor to the, radiate, to the radiator fan housing. So we just put a cable tie through here and then cable tie that to the housing, okay, just on the side. Like that. Okay. Cut off the excess. Okay, so that's that. Okay. And then locating the three bottom fixing pins into the slots in the bottom. Okay. Move the wipers out of the way. Go in there. Line them all up, okay, and press that in. Okay, now at the top, we've got one central fixing at the top. Line the screw up with the, the hole behind, okay, and as we tighten that up, that'll pull that up tight. Now, this grill only uses one fixing and to keep it pressed tight against the headlights. So, the best thing to do is just put the other two bolts. Although they're not used, put those back in, so if you ever need to fit the original grill back on, they're there and ready to do that. Okay. Right, now the other thing you can do if you want, is because the wipers, this grill, gets in the way of the wipers to give it the look like the facelift model, all we need to do is just move the wipers round a spline. So what you've got on here is you've got a plastic cap on the wiper that you can pull back, okay, and remove the plastic cap and then again with a 10 millimeter socket you can remove this nut here okay and then if you just get the wiper arm you can remove it and it's on a spline so you can see this conical spline here so you can literally just move it round a spline okay that'll still wipe fine it won't go over to the indicator it'll still wipe the headlights and function fully perfectly it's just the start position is not flat it's slightly round to the side okay put the plastic cover back over and there we go close the bonnet down and, um, and that's it done that's the facelift grill fitted.